Many workers have been unexpectedly pushed to the front line of the coronavirus outbreak since their jobs require them to interact with the public. That includes drivers who work for a shredding company in Raleigh. A group of them reached out to CBS 17 after claiming they were fired after raising health concerns with COVID-19. CBS 17's Bridget Chapman is getting answers and joins us live at the former workplace at, at their workplace called Shredded. Bridget. Yeah, the men tell me they were all drivers here at Shredded, and the company collects and then shreds documents. So workers are in all different kinds of places, meeting different people every single day. They tell me after they brought concerns about coronavirus to management, they claim about 20 of them were fired. Anything else would have been better than what they did. This group of men tell me they were all recently drivers for the company Shredded. They collect documents and materials from places, then bring them back to their workplace to be shredded. Their job takes them to offices, hospitals, and other places. They can be there for several hours. The group tells me they had concerns these past weeks after claiming the company didn't do enough to address the coronavirus outbreak. They did nothing. You know, we don't have any hand sanitizers, anything that would kind of prevent us from possibly being exposed or, you know, contracting it. The men tell me they went to their managers to talk about it last Thursday. No one here wants that get infected and then bring that home to our families. They said they didn't want to drive the routes anymore out of fear, asking if they could do other work instead. One of the drivers recorded this video during the meeting. He says the person speaking is a manager. If you're not going to go out on route today, guys, just go on and go home. I'll pay you guys for your 10 hours today. The person on the video tells them if they were to not come back the next day, they'd have to use vacation time. The men said the company then fired them the next day. Some said for job abandonment. Others said they were told they resigned. They told me I, I resigned. As of yesterday, I resigned. So I'm just like... How? When, when, did, when, did I, when did I resign? It was a shock. I reached out to Shredded in person, by phone, and via email. Shredded sent me a statement that says, in part, we provide our employees with proper training procedures and personal protective equipment and have implemented stringent hygiene actions and social distancing measures to stop the spread of any illness. It goes on to say the Shredded location has no confirmed cases of employees self-reporting exposure to COVID-19, adding they've provided all employees with a personal leave option should they prefer not to report to work on site. We can look forward to light at the end of the tunnel. Dean of Campbell Law School Melissa Essery has no connection to the men or their story. She tells me the Americans with Disabilities Act protects some workers with underlying conditions. Otherwise, workers can ask to work remotely or to be accommodated in some way. The employer can still say no, but at least that employee will have tried. Other than that, candidly, not a lot of protections for workers at this time. She says those who lose their job should file for unemployment insurance, while this group of workers still cope with the sudden changes. Stress. Uh, very stressed emotionally, financially. I'm, I'm uh, getting a little frustrated. The men tell me they've gotten nothing in writing from the company. I have reached back out to shred it to get more information about these actual terminations and have not yet heard back. But you can see their full statement on our website. Just click on this article. Live in Raleigh, Bridget Chapman, CBS 17 News.